Hello and welcome to uh, an international version of the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host today, Ben, and I'm joined by the man to my left, Leonardo. Hey. And Kurt, to my right. Hello. Uh, so we're away here at Oceanic Championships 2024. For some reason I want to say 2022, but that was the last time we were here. <laughs> um, but yeah, ultimately we had a, a pretty up and down weekend. Um, half the room had ups, half the room had downs. Yeah. Um, hmm. Who are we missing in the room right now? Uh, uh, Tom. Uh, Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tom won a game. <laughs> uh, but he's not here right now. So, uh, Leo, uh, we'll start with you. Uh, my weekend was pretty alright. Um, I ended up doing uh, 16 in Swiss after 9 rounds with a record of 7-2. And then I lost top 64 uh, against Branded because of Papa Luck. But Did you lose Daryl? Uh, yes, I yeah. lost die roll. I was driving the car and they told me you were missing yeah. and I was like, I go, win die roll, win die roll, win die roll. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, I had three hand traps for game one, but still he played through it and then he pat locked me. Uh, game two I won, game three I only had one hand trap, so it wasn't enough. And that's pretty much it. But you have, of course, left with this kind of this, video uh, kind of permanence map that we've had. It's kind of right, Matt. It's... Weird. It's a consol- uh, consolation prize. Consolation prize. Yeah. <laughs> you, you came 16th and yeah, 16 and then four, and thus you didn't get a prize card. Yes, correct. Oh well. So did Josh. Thanks, Josh Konami. had the exact same thing happen. Um, he's currently sitting on the other side of the room, watching the UFC and stuffing his face with cheeseburgers. It's supposed to be a safe place. I'll get Leo to send me the photo. That he was <laughs> That's going to be up on screen right now. Um, go. How'd your weekend go? Um, ups and downs in the main event. Uh, started off really well. Won my first two. Went to round three. Lost to Snake Eye. Then just kind of went down here from there. I versed Leo in round six. I played it terribly. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. One of you topped. One of, the, one of us topped. Yeah. Um, the better deck probably topped anyway. <laughs> like, I was playing Centurion. Dies to one hand trap most of the time. Uh, then after that, the next day, I, went, I entered into the giant card. Uh, went out round one because just didn't see any hand traps. Played voices voice and they just set up a board too much. But yeah, I don't know. First trip overseas, it's been great. What about I you? Forgot. Yeah, this is our first time overseas. Yeah, we brought him to New Zealand and he's got to watch the disaster that's been my entire week. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for me, for the main event, uh, I went X three, uh, X three drop uh, because X three is made top cut. Uh, because, again, they did top 64 for some stupid reason. 270 um, players, top 64. X4s made top cut, <laughs> for context. Yeah. Um, so realistically, I probably could have kept playing, but I have had a really shit weekend. Um, <laughs> I just had like one negative interaction in a game and literally just stood up and left the room. I was just like, I'm done. Um, and then I went and got these wonderful hats. <laughs> uh, I went and picked them up. Uh, but yeah, ultimately went X3, I uh, played Snake Eyes, uh, deck worked really well, um, the other games that I lost were games where I drew Flameburge, um, or Diablo Star, or both. Um, yeah, ultimately deck worked really well, of course it did, Snake Eyes, like Captain Obvious right here. Um, my losses were a Snake Eyes mirror, or two Snake Eyes mirrors, and, uh, New Bell. Because against Ubel, I just both games didn't open any hand traps, and the game was over in like seven minutes. I was like, awesome, <laughs> uh, really good times. Um, my second loss, yeah, to Snake Eyes, uh, Jordan over here uh, told me <laughs> he was on cash, so I played all my hand traps to stop cash, and he's like, uh, summon Poplar, and I'm like, shit, <laughs> okay, <laughs> awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, ultimately weekend was great. That was a lie. Um, ultimately, weekend was <laughs> decent. Um, I didn't play any events today. Uh, I just kind of hung around. We that's did a bit of driving around. Al- that's also a lie. You do you know that? What? That's decent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, by the time this podcast comes out, I will know. But there's a very real chance I'm going to lose five thousand dollars when I go to the airport. <laughs> um, all because some fucking idiot decided to teach their son how to drive in a car park. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Anyway. 
anyway, uh, that will bring us, I guess, we'll go and talk about the main event as a whole. Um, we don't currently know the winner. Uh, good luck to Fox, who is currently playing top eight. Um, hopefully he can win and uh, go to uh, the US. That's disappointing. Yeah. Seattle. Seattle. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we do have a top, 40, a top 64 breakdown. It is wrong, um, but I have just displayed it on the screen. Uh, it doesn't feature Salamane Great, which there was at least one, because Josh made top 64 with Salamane Great. Uh, Does really, it feature me? Uh, Melodious is here. Yes. 4.7% Melodious. That's cool. Um, but we've got Snake Eyes. <laughs> We're just gonna, I'll just say these numbers. They're wrong, um, but they can't be that wrong. Uh, so Snake Eyes at 46%, uh, sorry, 40.6%, uh, Ubel 15.6, Tenpai 9.4, Branded 6.3, uh, Pearly, Voiceless Voice, and Melodious all coming in at 4.7, which I believe would be four decks. Um, Plant at 3.1, uh, Ritual Beast at 3.1, and Kashtira at 1.6, which would be one deck. Um, of course, we saw 1.6% Salamangrate. I don't know if those numbers that I just read out to you all add up to 100. Um, if it does, something is off. Um, but ultimately, what do you guys think? I think wins the event. It's probably going to be Snake Eyes, either Snake Eye or Ubo, because Phantom of Ubo came out like like last week. People mm, yeah. didn't have enough time to test against it. Yeah, or I people are under uh, underestimated, yeah. like like I did, because I lost one of the game against Ubo. Mm. So I think it's going to be one of the two. I just didn't read it because my hand was already crap, and I was like. Yeah. Oh, I'll just try and play through this board. Played, then you like use the Phantom View Bell effect to change it to destroy you, Bell. And I was like, "Isn't this the effect of the other one?" Yeah. <laughs> um, I just assumed because Samsara Lotus wasn't on the end board, he didn't have that effect live. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's the same effect. Because like I tested a lot and I prepared a lot against Snake Eyes at Tempai because I thought those were gonna be the most represented deck. Mm. But at the venue when I was walking around, I saw really a lot of um, U Bells and. That deck is actually really good, yeah. I saw a lot of voiceless voice. But yeah, that's true not as well. That much converted, clearly, mm. what, three, three voiceless uh, yeah. melodies? Well, yeah, voiceless voice decks. Mm. Um, I also played at game one, around one, and was like, cool, this is the matchup that I hate the most. Yeah. Um, and then you just brick game three, and I was like, free win. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Mm. Um, but yeah, that'll wrap up, I guess, our coverage Tell of Oceanics. Um, of course. How has the rest of the trip been for you guys? We know Kurt's been overseas. I'm going to take him to Hobbit Land tomorrow. <laughs> I'm ditching them at the airport because um, I'm going to go home for work. Um, thoughts on the rest of the country? The rest of the country is great. It's pretty all right, yeah. yeah. I will say. Uh, I like Wendy's. Wendy's. Wendy's is really good. Big shout out to Tom to go 1 3 with Nurse Burn. Yeah. <laughs> went one three with Nurse Burn. And not because he won the first round. He definitely had an opponent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jordan, how'd you go? I forgot to ask. You went 4-4? Four, 4-4. Four? Four, four. On Tenpai. Tenpai. Lost Snake Eyes three times and wants to pop it. Block. Yep. And then we have Josh that made top 64, lost against T-Elements. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have deck profiles gone up in the channel for Leo and Josh, um, so do tune in. They likely won't be hit on a ban list, so yep. current content. Good. <laughs> Imagine if they put... Um, not concerto. Ostinato. No. Ostinato. Sure, surely we'll get it. Ostinato yeah. needs to get a one, yeah. I think. Because like, you can hit good. Snake Eyes all you want, but it's too good. not back yeah. to it. Ostinato is still full Snake Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess that will bring us over to the news. Um, not a tremendous amount, so we're not going to be talking about this for a massive amount of time. Uh, probably the biggest news that we had coming out of this week was the, I guess, leaked rarities for the giant cards uh, for info. Um, so we know that uh, Fiendsmith Engraver, um, which is the main Fiendsmith, uh, he is going to be a secret rep. Um, also, uh, we know that uh, Mulchami... Is it Mulch? Okay. Mulchami... Mulchami, yeah. Perulia? Uh, that the is octopus. Uh, that's the jelly hand trap. It was, it was Mulchami in the Austrian. Mulchami, yeah. Okay. So I was like, hold on, wasn't this a U, not an A? Um, that is also going to be a secret rep. Um, probably going to be the most expensive card in the set. Question mark. Mm. Uh, I think it's overhyped. It's 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 good, but not as good as Maxi. I think Fiend's oh, of course. Fin 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 is, is going to be definitely the best. The big one. Okay. The chase card. I think Jellyfish second. Yep. Um, and then we have Exodia. Uh, the Exodia fusion is going to be ultra rare. The um, worst. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It's ultra rare. I don't care. Um, I'm probably going to pick up a case of this if I am not out five thousand dollars tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll find out. Uh, if there's an opening on the channel, 
you know, things went well. <laughs> um, but then outside of that, uh, we have the name of our next set being released. Um, so we are going to have Supreme Darkness as the next main set. Um, the Year of Water has ended after one water set. <laughs> Unless this is a reference to the dark depths dark. of the ocean. Probably. Maybe. maybe the getting, deep dark. We're getting deep sea support, maybe? Mm. Maybe. Sure. But don't know. Um, yeah. Ultimately, that will be interesting. More to be released soon in V Jump and Weekly Shonen Jump. Uh, have you seen that during this weekend there was also a um, China mainland uh, um, like continental yes. tournament? Yes. Uh, I believe it's going to have a breakdown for us. No, I don't have a breakdown because uh, uh, it's, it's like a, they have a live stream, but it's on a like weird Chinese website. Uh, but I can show you the trophy that maybe you can put the, uh, the image on the screen. This is going to be the trophy. For some reason, Road of the King isn't loading. That's a nice trophy. Yeah. I'll this try is and a, have that image yeah. up now. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure Ubel did really well in the tournament because I reckon you. They just had a they just had a ban list and Ubel was Wait. almost untouched. They have split WCQ for China, so they do two main lists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Um, Tenpai winning the event. Tenpai, okay. Yeah. So uh, results for the mainland WCQ for Chengdu. Um, is Tempai coming first, second, uh, Fiendsmith, Faith, Fiendsmith Snake Eye third, um, Fiendsmith, Snake, Fiendsmith, <laughs> Fiendsmith Snake Eye's fourth, um, Fiendsmith Ubel, Tempai Dragon. Hmm. Why does this look... It seems like it was presented like a 3v3, but it seems as though only top three got invites. Hmm. Um, Fiendsmith going to do some things. Yeah, Fiendsmith is really good. Uh, it's going to... It's gonna be the same as when we had Kashtir Rizard, uh, uh, Rizard, that that card alone keeps mm, a lot yeah. of deck out of the meta. Yeah. Mm. Because Fiend Smith is really good at baiting interruptions. Is, is mm. Fiend Smith playable through Shifter? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't think so. Okay. The whole thing revolves around getting a Beatrice to dump uh, in the grave, which yeah. under Shifter just turns it off. It's at this point is like, do we ban Shifter? Or do we keep shift up it's about all time. those decks? It's well, about time. I, the ban list needs to come, and it just needs to reset the meta. Mm. Like, Calamity, gone. Puppet, gone. Hits to Snake Eyes. Yeah. No hits to Melodious, please. No hits to Melodious. <laughs> A mini hit to Melodious, just because I hate the deck. I guess <laughs> you have to play the Melodious cards if you limit Ash. Yeah. To make it consistent still. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, <coughs> interestingly, though, we aren't getting all... At this point, we do not know if we're getting the link to uh, that's the goddess to yeah. make it splashable. Mm -hmm. um, so Fiend Smith may well just do nothing for a little while. Mm. It could be a world where they just don't give it to us just to intentionally not have Fiend Smith be OP, and then at the end of the year they give it to us, and then they've already hit Fiend Smith by that point. Probably, um, probably Beatrice getting banned. But they gave us the Phantom of Yubel really soon. That really. was really quick. Yeah. yeah, I expected the link to be in that set. Same. It just wasn't there. Yeah. Um, so it'll be a case of whether or not they import it into this next main set. Otherwise, we could be waiting a little while. Yeah. Um, potentially until after the Megatins. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but for Actually, the... We get new cards in the Megatins, right? No. Uh, so we get, we normally, we get promos. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, but normally, they're like anime-related and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah. Outside or the other the other Chinese uh, WCQ, uh, Fiendsmith Yubel uh, took first, second, and third, followed yeah. up with a Centurion and fourth. Ooh! <laughs> uh, it would seem as though this was a smaller event, so only the top two were invited from yeah. this event. Um, Just Centurion? It's not Whitewood. It's pure as well? Centurion. The list's probably here. It's not here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Sorry to break that one to you. Uh, but yeah, Fiendsmith Yubel. Shocker. That's really that's a really good deck, yeah. Yeah. Um, moving to, I guess, the last bit of news. Uh, not a tremendously interesting bit of news. I saw this pop up and was like, oh, that happened. Uh, we had a ban list for uh, Master Duel. Yeah. Uh, reflecting pretty heavily on the OCG ban list, <laughs> uh, we saw Kaiser Coliseum and Catapult Turtle getting banned, uh, Summer Limit being limited, uh, Pearl Lily and Airlifter being semi-limited, um, which I realized was a hit to Air Rescue Ace, not an increase, <laughs> and was like, well, I've just forgotten to play that in full power. Um, and then uh, Zeus also going to two, which is an increase from one. 
Why? Why, why was Zeus at one? Uh, he is in the OCG. So there's okay. Zeus was at one, I think, just because of people. It's like, be, because of Zodiac. Mm. Yeah, it's Zodiac. because you could just go one card Zeus, bang. Okay. One card Zeus, bang. Um, and then we have Bonfire also going to two. Uh, mm. No longer on the list. Kirin, mm-hmm. Yadagorasu, Ptolemaeus, and Kashtira Birth. That's such a stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That card needs to stay at one. <laughs> um, yeah, we apparently just decided to take that off the ban list. <laughs> um, I guess yeah. all their names are like limited. Ultimately, I'm not really going to play that much Master Duel. I was mm. really, really enjoying playing the... Um, the call it Edison format. Yeah. Edison format. Kurt told me it was ending. I just didn't hear it. <laughs> uh, so last night we were in bed and I was like, guys, we need to play the oh <laughs> I say we were in bed like Kurt sharing a bed with me but we're on the other side of the room. Just want to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that will uh, wrap us up for the news. Like I said, not a tremendous amount of news, uh, but that will bring us over to the Discord. Um, of course it is question time. Uh, Discord link is down in the description below. Uh, join us on there and leave any questions that you want to ask. Um, I have not stalled enough yet to get the questions up because <laughs> the internet is very slow in this room. Um, God knows how long this podcast is going to take to upload. I've got 24 hours, so it'll be fine. Um, first question today coming from 6 i 6 uh, Question, do you agree with side decking being read out on stream ah because we oh, didn't cover that yeah thank yeah. you six side six we wanted to cover this uh, so yeah do you agree with side decks being read out on stream uh card for card during swiss uh, hot topic at six side six locals hot topic here in the venue uh, no. no absolutely uh, no it was let's go with selective yeah. about whose cards were read out card for card which was a little disappointing um mm. if you're gonna read it read everyone's or don't read it at all um <laughs> yeah. probably preferably don't read it at all yeah. um if you're gonna give those points of insight probably just be like oh, in this matchup we're probably gonna see him side this uh it is in his sideboard don't just read out the whole thing card for card yeah um so especially not doing the swiss i can yeah. understand maybe doing like top eight where everyone knows what yeah. everyone else is playing. Yes. So you can kind of guess what their side looks like, yeah. but not during the Swiss. Definitely. Uh, not. Absolutely. Um, Quite stupid. Yeah. Probably wouldn't recommend doing that mm. in future. It was a yeah a bit of a sore spot on stream because uh, <laughs> Josh's whole side deck was read out. Really? Uh, not his, his opponent's was not. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. It's just, it's such a disadvantage when people know what you're playing and yeah. what you're doing. Like, in round three, I didn't know what I was playing against, but they knew what I was playing. It was just... Because he's the, apparently the, uh, what your deck? Centurion guy of a shot yu Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to play Sprite. I was. Luckily, he wasn't. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't. Um, but yeah, ultimately, no. Uh, next question, also from 6 i 6 uh, what is the greatest length you've gone to for a card storage or protection uh, for something highly valuable or collectible? Um, have you sent something away for grading? Um, do you put in like humidity control mm. uh, packaging? Uh, do you put it under a heavy book just so it won't bend on your desk? <laughs> um, I definitely do that a lot because I'm lazy and don't want to put things into binders. Um, I have bought a lot of binders on this trip though. I've got to go pick it up from... Where is he going? I don't know. Okay. Oh, he's letting Tom in. Oh. Tom's here. <laughs> um, yeah. For me, it's try and put them into, like, protection. I have, like, those... Uh, you know, they're like the magnetic slabs? Yeah. I have those for, like, my starlights. I don't like those because... Um they don't fit like over sleeves mm. and if you just put like a penny sleeve so they might there might be a chance that you would damage them yes uh, what i find nice is for like they sell binders where you can put top loaders in there oh. they hold top loaders oh those are those palms off binders yes palms okay. uh, i think they it's like nine pages binders yep. they're huge they're really big but you can put your card into a sleeve into a top loader and then the top loader inside the binder oh, that's, nice. that's a really good way to protect him i've yeah. seen as well those like storage cases that you yes. can get that just mm. fit top loaders yes as, um, that as well i thought those are like a neat idea yeah. like a secure case you can put yeah. and just have them all yeah me being quite new to the Yu-Gi-Oh, 
I think I originally I had packed a Starlight Wind, the Link Charmer. Yep. Didn't know it was a Starlight, <laughs> so it was just sitting in like a bunch of bulk. Oh. Figured it out. <clears throat> I triple sleeved it and just kept it in a binder. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't damaged? It wasn't damaged. I thought we're going to end the story with <laughs> yeah. it being like bent in half. No, yeah. no, no, no. It was fine. Kurt Tudor a little, just because <laughs> it looked funny. <laughs> Surprisingly, Luke has it now. Yeah. Oh, must be in good condition there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, next question uh, comes from Crobat5. Um, just currently correcting to make sure that this question is new. It is new. Because um, I'm starting from the bottom because it was the most controversial question. <laughs> Um, what is one thing you have in, uh, have extra of in your house or apartment that you don't currently use, but say, I will eventually use it? <laughs> I feel like Leo's answer is about to be very different because he's probably just cleaned out his entire life. It's yeah, it's, it's probably going to be like sleeves. Like whenever you buy cards online, uh, they send cards in sleeves and I always keep those spare sleeves. I was like, oh, when I'm going to send some cards, I'm just going to put them in there. Sleeves. But then I have like boxes of full of spare sleeves uh, that I had to chuck away because there were just too many. I have like a drawer. Yeah. Like, drawers and it's like, open that's all the sleeves are yeah. just in there. It's like, yeah, put this in there. <laughs> yeah. It's like Pokemon size sleeves and Yu Gi Oh size sleeves. Yeah. I'm sending like three of a card but in the Pokemon sleeve we go. Exactly. Uh, I've got Megatins. Megatins? Oh, okay. I've been those. Yeah. I've I threw those. them away. I have about. 30 mm. mega tins yeah. just sitting underneath my bed. Whenever I try to bring uh, bin them, Bragg will always be like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You can't keep those tins? Like, mm. they still have like that black plastic that held the packs in it. I'm just Oh, like, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep the tin. I'll no. use it at some stage. No. no. That <laughs> black pla- if I'm keeping those tins, that black plastic is gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'll eventually do it. That is one thing I appreciate about over time. The mega tins haven't gotten smaller so that you can at least put cards in. In there, yes. Yeah. Like the packaging's gotten thinner, yep. but it hasn't gotten, oh, the pattern's gotten shorter, but not thinner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've also just realized I'm doing these hand directions behind the screen, so <laughs> none of it's presented. Um, for me, it's honestly it's probably board games. There's, there's a lot of board games in my house that we just don't touch. Yeah. Um, I don't even know who owns like 95%. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. I swear to God, there's some that are still on the sleeves. <laughs> oh, there is definitely <laughs> still a brand new board game. There. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't open them because, again, I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are. Like, yeah. They stay sealed. <laughs> don't touch. It might be worth it. A lot of money in the next few years. Yeah. With those board games not getting reprints. <laughs> <laughs> Reprint market's so bad. Mm. Um, next question comes from 6 i 6 This is a two-parter. Um, where do you keep your extra slash spare toilet paper um, <laughs> and how much uh, and what is the worst slash least practical storage solution uh, you've seen for toilet rolls? I just have a basket next to my toilet. I keep them under the, the um, sink. The sink. I, yeah. I keep them under the sink as well. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be too far from your spare toilet paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, there is the times though where it's just sitting in a pile and I won't be because I bulk order it. Yeah. So yeah. at the start, there's not enough space. Yeah. Unless I leave it till like the last minute to get that bulk order in, it just gets left on the laundry floor. Mm. Probably shouldn't do that because one leaky washing machine, and it's all gone. <laughs> um, next question comes from Crobat. There's a lot of questions considering there was no news. Yeah. Uh, coming from Crobat5, uh, what are your thoughts on branded hero as a deck? Um, he's built it and played it and found it was very or oh, little inconsistent. I said very inconsistent because that's what I think of the deck. Um, <laughs> go. Uh, I don't think they should be combined. Yeah, it's such an odd combination because Hero goes a lot into links as well to the world yeah, of combos, and we branded you can't do that. Yeah. So the link also locks you. But yeah. Yes, branded also locks you. So. No. Nah. There are better choices. What do you want to play? Hero or Branded? Uh, and then build off of that. Hmm. Um, branded. Next question. <laughs> Chromat 5 again. Um, so we have flashback to yesterday. Okay. Um, we're about to start the WCQ, uh, but you can't find your deck. Uh, they're letting you change your deck, but you've gone to the vendor and they just have uh, Adventure Plunder Patrol, Orcist, Heroes, or Marincess. Which deck are you choosing? Probably Marincess. Yeah. Probably also go Marincess. Yeah. It's probably the best it, out of all it's, these. It's the easiest to play. It's the probably the best to play. And you can play like 20 hand traps, which are good against everything. Plunder Adventure, just because I know how the deck works. 
Okay. All the other decks I don't know. Interesting choice. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know an adventure engine. Plunder's easy. But yeah. I want to see play that because Plunder's not the easiest yeah. in the world. Yeah. Okay, I'll build it. I'll build it. <laughs> Extra deck, getting interactions. Awkward. I'll what were the other two? Uh, Orcus? Sunday, Sunday Fun Day. Hero. Yeah, I wouldn't play Heroes. No, absolutely. Because you can't negate a normal summon. Yeah. Uh, normal summon Ash, you lose. If yeah. Jake was here. He'd choose August. 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 <laughs> Is he allowed to put Horus in it? The no. Have Horus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question comes from Tuesday is Noob. Um, who are you going to cheer for uh, with the... Oh, I don't know what this question means. Uh, something about the World Cup. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I don't know if this is a soccer-related question. Um, who are you now going to cheer for with the Oz Sydney out of the 2020 World Cup? I don't... Ah, oh, T20 World Cup. Ah, oh, we're a bit late on this because it's already over. Um, I would cheer for nobody uh, because that would involve me cheering for another nation. Right, for Afghanistan. Oh, he's there? He's like football? Uh, it's cricket. Oh, cricket. Australia oh, lost Afghanistan okay. and got knocked out. Um, uh, I don't like cricket. Okay. I don't follow cricket either. I think in the India or South Africa one. Congratulations. <laughs> um, Woohoo! Okay. Uh, last question. I believe this is. Yes. No, sorry. There's two questions. Two more. Two We're more. almost there. Uh, last question. Second last question. Uh, comes from Jesse. Uh, if you had a lucky card to the Olympic Games uh, oh that God. you would hide on your person <laughs> and what, uh, what card would you hide and what event would you compete in? That's hard. Definitely <laughs> not running. Does food competition count? <laughs> <laughs> food eating competition. Uh, Jordan's signaling darts. darts. I don't know if darts is in the Olympics. <laughs> Every country just put their own thing in whatever they host. Yeah. That's why we have skateboarding Japan. Um, true. <laughs> Olympics. What about you? Uh, I would. This is very, solely reliant on whether or not I'm good at the sport, um, but I would do basketball and I would take Dread Dunker. Hmm. And if I dunk the ball, I'd like pull it out of my pants <laughs> and like hold it up to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, Josh is questioning my choice. I think that's a brilliant choice. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. But what? what's the speed? Javelin. Javelin? I, I know Javelin. I'm saying the spear card is like a lightning rod spear. There's Javelin spear, I think. It's what it's actually called. Is it? I don't know. It's a trap? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think it's got Javelin in its name. I don't know. But it, the Javelin card and I'd be in Javelin Olympics, I reckon. I don't yeah. know. It's such a weird question, but I don't know. I think it's a cool question. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably go f food competitions or uh, what's that spot where they like throw the heavy ball? Uh, uh, shop put. Shop put. Yeah, that one. Uh, as a far as cards, or I don't know. Food competitions. <laughs> food food ships. Hungry burger. Yeah. Um, last question. Pretty simple one from Caleb. What's your favorite show? Oh, uh, the Big Bang Theory. Love the show. That's a good pick. I'm happy you're moving away. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, no, no. This is going to start a debate later. <laughs> you are so basic. Eh? Salad players. Theory. I hate Big Bang Theory so much. I love the Big Bang Theory. Uh, I think I'll say Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's just a good comedy. That's a better choice. Mm, okay. Don't uh, tell me it's uh, like, oh, you meet your mother or... Oh, fuck no. Okay. Have you not watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Yeah, I saw. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm so, saying what's uh, his favorite. Okay. Okay. I don't really have a favorite TV show. That's the thing. I normally that's, will. That's when you just pick one. Like if I'm watching a TV show, I'm like this is great, and then once I'm finished watching, I'll be like, this is never going to enter my brain <laughs> ever again. Um, like yeah, realistically, like you use the only thing that I like constantly re like rewatch. Um, but I'm going to go with JoJo's because that's another thing that I constantly. Hey, SMR. Re <laughs> 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 we can go get him. <laughs> Um, but that wraps up here for the podcast uh, for this one. Hopefully I get this uploaded on time because this Wi-Fi works for us. Um, otherwise, uh, it will not be uploaded on time. And you will catch this on a Tuesday. Um, congratulations again on a good weekend, Liam. Thank um, you. You as well, you. Josh. Uh, you should definitely be proud. 
You were top 32 when there should have been top 32. You should have some better pricing if that was the case. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Konami. Yeah, God damn, this man is not great. It's like really thin and... Yeah. Like, they don't normally crumble like this. Like, it's a mouse pad. Yeah. It's a tea towel. I wonder if it'll melt like the ones they did. Um, Some extra toilet paper. <laughs> also, the vendors here were, were decent. The vendors were actually yeah. really good, yeah. Really, one vendor was really good for singles, and the other was really good for like mats and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Shout out to them. Yeah, buy my uh, Beyond the Pendulum Judge mat. <laughs> I need to. He was supposed to be a, also a grading company uh, as a vendor, but... He was there. Oh, was there? Uh, it just didn't work for like half of the day yeah. because the sun would come in behind him and the station just wasn't working properly uh, when the sun was there. Um, uh, is Fox is in top four. Fox oh. is in top four. Yeah, I sent you the bracket. Oh, oh we've been sent the bracket. Uh, we'll quickly recap this to give you guys some suspense before we leave. Um, the bracket. Here we are. Uh, I need to zoom out of this. Uh, Jordan has sent me the bracket. This mouse is not working on this table. <laughs> use, the, use the mouse pad. Yeah. I'm tell I you got the it. Okay. Who's the tea towel? We're good. Uh, slowly loading. The suspense challenge is going to be here soon. Uh, I think I'm just going to... We're going to end this because it's I not loading for me. You want me to tell you Josh, that? read it out. Okay. The first match is uh, please uh, Uramovic Branded versus uh, Eli Flynn on Ubel. Brandon oh. versus Uber. Brandon versus Uber. Second match is uh, Tim Davis, Purely. Yep. And Fox on Snake Eyes. Nice okay. Yeah. Only one know, Snake Eyes. Do you know who's on stream? Uh, no. Uh, oh. If Snake Eyes wins, probably not Fox. Fox wins. And we like that. Um, Fox being Ocean it's just loaded for me now. Snake yeah. Eyes, Oceans 2024. Yeah. Hopefully it's true. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're about to start the stream now. We're about to start the stream. We will end here. We're going to watch the stream. Um, but yeah, have a good one, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong with the big inventory? Now I want to know. <laughs> <laughs>